Welcome back, everybody. In this short section, I'm going to look at some examples of medical devices, their component parts, what they're made of, what materials are typically used in medical devices. OK, so let's look at some devices that we saw earlier. Uh, this was the IV set that we spoke about in the earlier video. And what you have here is, is a metal needle being inserted into the skin, which is attached to some very plastic, very flexible plastic tubing, which are attached to syringes, which would contain um, liquids, maybe antibiotics or saline solution. And, um, and then the operator is manually uh, delivering the liquids here. Uh, so what we have, we have metals, we have plastics, we have pl plastics of different flexibility, different durability, toughness and strength. And they are all assembled and together to ensure the integrity of this device. So this device uh, cannot fail in use. The middle image here is a knee implant and this is the femoral bone. And uh, on that we have a fem femoral uh, metal surface. These are usually a, a metal uh, alloy, maybe cobalt, chromium alloys, and a, a tibial component, which is metal. Um, but between the two surfaces, there is a, a plastic uh, tibial plateau, which is usually a ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. And this plastic um, layer here ensures that the metal uh, of the femoral component doesn't rub against the metal of the tibial component and cause unnecessary wear and release of metal ions into the patient's bloodstream. And over here on the right is a pacemaker. And uh, here again we have a metal casing attached to electrodes. The electrodes are insulated by a plastic coating. This is usually um, silicon, it's, it's frictionless, um, and there are ceramic components in here as well in the capacitor. So we've encountered a few different materials here in this section, metals, ceramics, uh, polymers, and different types of polymers and plastics. So most materials that I've talked about in those medical devices are materials that we are very familiar with on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so if we look at, um, if anyone is into cycling, titanium alloys, uh, stainless steel, uh, plastic, so polyethylene bottles, polyethylene terephthalate, uh, PTFE, Teflon, our non-stick uh, frying pans, and, uh, and ceramics that we encounter daily. So th the materials that are used in medical devices are materials that we see every day. And um, there are medical grade uh, materials uh, of these, but in essence, uh, what we're looking at is uh, titanium alloys, cobalt chromium alloys, uh, different plastics and ceramics. So just to sum up, the materials used in medical devices are metals, ceramics, polymers and composites. And in the metal family, typically what we come across in medical devices are stainless steel, titanium, cobalt, chromium, molybdenum and platinum. Uh, the ceramics, the ceramics we come across, which may be not so familiar as the others, um, are alumina, zirconia, calcium phosphates, and porcelain, I'm sure we've all come across through um, dental implants. Polymers then, polyethylene, PET, which as I said, are found in plastic bottles, plastic bags, polyesters, which are found in your clothes, PVC, also clothes, and silicones, which might be your phone cases, silicon bakeware uh, so we come across these on a daily basis and then the composites are are a blend of they could be a blend of maybe one or more polymers or a blend of a polymer or ceramic etc uh, so some examples here are pmma which is polymethyl methacrylate and it's, this is used in uh, for for bone cement in older implants um, also used in contact lenses so it's a blend of uh, two different polymer types 
and uh, resin and quartz could also be used as a composite. So uh, in the duration of the course, we, we will be listing specific um, materials uh, by their name, but this is a little taster. Okay, thank you, and I'll talk to you again in one moment.